Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And today we will create a map for our data set. But first things first, let's go ahead and save our workbook. So we'll just press Ctrl S and this one's going to be section 6. So as we usually do, what uh, we look for when we create a map is that little globe icon uh, that we can drag onto, so the dimension that we can drag onto our uh, Tableau workspace and that way the map will be created for us. But today we've got a bit of a conundrum. We don't have the globe icon. Everything here is either a uh, numeric value or a text field and here as well. So we, we can't create a map and moreover we don't have those latitude and longitude um, measures that are usually generated for us. So how do we create a map in this case? Well, we know that region is our uh, locational variable here. And maybe let's try dragging that into the workbook. But once we drag it in, nothing happens. It just creates this uh, table for us. So how do we create a map in this case? Well, this is a good example of when Tableau doesn't automatically recognize uh, geographical roles and you have to set them uh, for your workbook yourself. So we're just going to take that out of our worksheet and now what we, what we need to do is we need to right click on region and we need to set a geographic role. So if we go down here, there's geographic role and we can select what geographic role we want region to play. So in this case, it's called region in the data set, but what um, Tableau recognizes as region is different. What we are implying under region in the data set is actually called state in Tableau because it's a different for UK Tableau deems um, what we call region in the data set, it deems them states. So we're going to select state. And now we have a globe icon and now we have latitude and longitude generated. Okay, good. So now we can drag a region into our worksheet. And what happens now? Well, we see the whole map of the world for some reason and we don't see um, UK, we don't see uh, our custom base, we don't see anything like it didn't it just uh, built a map of the world for us, but didn't map any put anything onto this map. So what else we can see here is on the bottom right, there's a, uh, an indicator showing us that there's four unknown values in this geographic um, classification. So let's go ahead and look at that. If you click on the four unknowns, and you click edit locations, what you'll find is that England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales have not been recognized. Well, this can easily be fixed if you tell Tableau which country there is supposed to be looking in. The reason is that um, right now Tableau is looking in Namibia for uh, an unknown, unknown reason. It's just looking in Namibia. You have to change that to uh, obviously to the UK. So Tableau knows that these states or provinces are actually located in the UK and that's where it should be looking. So we're going to go and find United Kingdom over here. Click on that and right away you can see that Tableau has now matched them up and click OK here. And there you go. Right away we're taken to the map of the UK and what we need to do now is we need to change this from automatic to field map. And um, there you go. That's how we created a map of the UK. Um, so we will talk a bit more about the errors that can occur when you're creating maps uh, in, in the next section of the course, in the section on uh, data preparation. Uh, but for now, that was a good intro. And now you know how to create your own geographic uh, roles or assign your own geographic roles in your data set. What we're going to do now is we want uh, to uh, adjust this or add some information to this map. Uh, well, first of all, we'll just assign random colors for now to our um, four states so we can uh, we can see them separately. So we're just going to take region and we're going to, instead of keeping it in detail, we'll just drag it into color. And now uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to add information. We want to see the total number of customers in each of these um regions that uh, we're looking at. And how do we do that? How do we add the total number of customers? 
Well, we don't have a measure which corresponds to the total number of customers, but what we do have and what is automatically added to every workbook in Tableau is a field, a generated field that counts the number of rows and it's called number of records. And that is a very, very powerful tool because in our case, we know that the number of rows is exactly the number of customers. So we can use this generated field to our advantage. So we're going to take number of records and we're going to drag it into label. And right away, you can see the total number of customers has appeared on our um, map. So all we have to do now is kind of format it a bit. So let's go with 12 and bold. And let's just kind of reposition these labels so that they're working well and we can see them well. Okay, and now we'll probably prepare our map a little bit for uh, the future. So if you want to zoom in, you have to hold down control. Um, we want our map to be as compact as possible. So there you go. And that is pretty much it for the map. Whoa, let's control Z that. I just wanted to move this label. That's pretty much it for the map for now. So we did assign some random colors and they might not work well with our dashboard when we create it. So we'll change those a bit later. Um, that's all for today. In the next tutorial, we will uh, start looking at some charts to complement this map and um, you'll see how all this is going to be coming together slowly into one uh, amazing dashboard. So that's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.